two seconds. So like this continuously if we move. When it moves like that, so what, what actually we notice is like, first a jerk will be given. Then after some time, the jerk, we notice it here. Then after some time, all of you, sir, what do you mean by giving jerk? Uh, th that's why I told you, buy one five meter rope tied to the window or the anything somewhere you put a knot connected to wall or the window grill. Then at other end, you just hold other end of the rope and give a jerk. Jerk means just moving up and down. He has to move his, his arm up and down. Then what you what, what we notice is like uh, some sort of disturbance because you know this is the rope rope or shall we call medium rope or call medium. So then so the ear what happened initially the, all the particles are at rest. The moment I give jerk what happened a disturbance is generated here. Then what happened the disturbance will propagate like this with a certain speed. Let's assume. Uh, now, now you are given disturbance here. What the disturbance? The disturbance at some time will be here, after some time will be here, after some time will be here. And the particles of medium, how do, how do they move? So this will move up, this will move down. Sorry, it should be. So how the particles of medium, they'll be moving up and down. Sir, I, I will not accept this. A good example, uh, Tom and Jerry, most of you might have seen Tom and Jerry Cartoon Network. And the jerry, when it is moving under the carpet, so what will happen to uh, as that jerry moves under the carpet? Tell me, like, how the points on a carpet will move? Will move up and down, no? And what is that jerry? Jerry is a disturbance, no? It is disturbing the carpet. Okay, you can just take some towel or some anything bed sheet that one, no? You move any one object below that. So as that object moves, what happens? The points on that particular cloth will move up and down, but the object will move horizontally. What is that object? Object is an energy or a disturbance. And what is the points on that particular cloth? Is a medium. So they'll vibrate vertically here. So this is an example of mechanical transfer. So tell me like a, this is a rope. No, this rope is a medium. So rope. So we, we, year afterwards, in books, what happens? They're called medium, rope, or string. In books, they used exclusively the word medium only. So I, I, I'll, I'll prefer to call rope that one. Because immediately it will flash to medium is you start thinking something imaginary. No, we are just talking about this. Is, this is what our old chapter huh? for next another two weeks. Just I'll be taking this as an example. That's all over. Okay, that's why I'm asking. Just purchase five meter plastic rope or something that one rope tie to the window at one end, then what happened? Make it vibrate. Or, or you ask your any uh, family person to move this arm up and down. Nothing but a transverse wave is generated. The transverse mechanical wave. What do you mean mechanical wave? The wave which needs medium for propagation. What do you mean by transverse? The energy will flow along x-axis. Particles will vibrate along y-axis here. So I'll, I'll put it here. The person holding the one end of rope moves his arm vertically up and down. So like how many times? So like in one second, some five times or in one second, two times or for one minute, you move that around 10 times. It moves his arm vertically up and down or it will oscillate. I think you know SHM now. Like, like this, I, I'll move my arm. So in one second, 10 times, I cannot move. I think I'm not robo. <laughs> not, not possible, no. Machines can move that one, that much of force. Our arm, what happened? Okay, go for one minute. In one minute, 10 times. Or one minute, 15 times. Like that, we can move it. <laughs> Moves his arm vertically up and down. Up and down. Then A. Then A. Disturbance. Is 
is set up at uh, right end. Okay, there's a right end and there's a left end. This one, disturbance is set up at right end. That disturbance propagates horizontally on a row and points on a rope vibrate vertically. Vertically means along axis, horizontal means along x axis. Are you getting you no? Know? So best example, I think you can try all these. Huh? I'm telling this one. You feel really very this is the best chapter for students to really like a, to do experiments. You have a rope, you know how to move your hand, arm, you can tie knot at one end of the wall, finish over. So like how do I notice? You ask your family member to vibrate arm at one end, then look at the rope, or you are alone, take mobile and record it, then make observation of that recording. So if you want still better clear, you can put marking on the rope, some specific points. How do that point will move at different instants of time? Like that an observation have to be made. Okay, got this one. So there's a transverse mechanical wave. Mechanical transfer, transverse mechanical, anything you can call it. Mechanical means medium here. Transverse means the disturbance is generated. It will move horizontally. Points on the medium will vibrate vertically. And this is what our syllabus, what I'm going to discuss now. Uh, next again, uh, the mechanical longitudinal wave. A good example is this propagation of sound wave in air. So now I'm speaking. Okay, or, or, or say like, okay, there's not a classroom. No? Okay, now, now if any sound is coming in a room, what actually means? It's a propagation of sound wave only. What is the medium? The air is the medium. And what is the disturbance? The moment you talk, it's a disturbance, finish over. Suppose in a room, or oh, that one, if nobody talks, then there's no wave propagation. If somebody talks, then what will happen? A disturbance is created and that disturbance will propagate. That is nothing but the mechanical longitudinal wave. Okay, what is our syllabus? The first part of syllabus is transverse wave. Next part of syllabus is longitudinal wave or mechanical longitudinal. This is nothing but example is propagation of sound wave. So in books, what happened? We have like waves and sound. It is the chapter name. Waves means here, like a, all types of waves. First, transverse mechanical wave. Next part of the syllabus will be mechanical longitudinal wave. Our entire focus will be on this one. Okay, now, so somehow we are able to sh say that there is a wave propagation, no? Definitely what when we are learning physics, so what we want to do? We want to express this phenomena mathematically. This is like a story I give, as I'm able to see practically, there is some energy flowing on a rope. Points on a rope are moving. Next, my question, like, uh, what type of motion the points on a rope they describe? So to answer this, I need mathematics. Uh, are you getting to know? Now I say that energy is flowing. Okay, the energy flowing on a rope in what form it will be? So for this also, I need equations. So now what is our next target is like, how to express this wave propagation using mathematical equations. That is what we are trying to do. And, and look at these points on a rope. They will continuously you will move your arm. So what happened to this point? Will continuously will vibrate. So we know if a, it's like a to and fro motion. Do we have any mathematics to express to and fro motion? Anybody? Do we have any mathematics to express to and fro motion? If I wave my hand continuously, what will happen to points on a rope? Then also the wave will continuously will move, the energy will continuously flow, and the points on a the rope, they'll be vibrating continuously like this. Then this is a two and fro motion. Do we have any mathematics to express two and fro motion? 
periodic function or shm better you call or oscillatory we know enough of mathematics no shm we are so good we know phase we know everything velocity acceleration the same shm ideas is what we are going to bring here so the points on a rope they'll describe to and fro motion it's not that just if i rat moves once okay they'll go up and down if continuously if i move my arm up and down continuously this points will be executing Uh, we'll be describing to and fro motion here also in a medium if i speak continuously continuously the points in a medium they'll be vibrating horizontally or along the direction of propagation it's a to and fro motion so we know enough mathematics of to and fro motion so we are going to take help of that and we'll express our wave propagation okay got this one so i, I will take out this mechanical longitudinal wave hmm? that this, this one This is the next chapter, no? So we'll directly start discussing about this transverse wave. Okay, how to generate this wave propagation means how to really learn this one. Okay, let's get into the. See, I, I'm telling this one. You just Google no wave propagating on a rope. You get enough videos. You get enough diagrams. Just see and enjoy it. The beauty of science you can enjoy through pictures, not just mere uh, speech or mere text. To images through visualizations, you can really understand. Oh, this is what I'm studying. This one. I, I'll post some videos. Huh? You can you can see that one. Huh? but i really want students to explore and on their own it's not that something somebody will show it's like a watching movie science is not watching movie science is about exploration okay type it in google or anywhere that on videos images so many other don't read again text i'm explaining enough things huh? don't read again text here okay there is a there is a rope rope or medium it is fine okay next what we have is now uh, why the shape of the rope like this a person at one end what he'll do he will continuously will vibrate his hand and because of that the rope will take this particular shape shape of rope Okay, the, the, this is y-axis. We know, uh, and uh, what is this? This is x-axis, and uh, not y of t graph. Okay, this this we are very sure. So this will be the amplitude. Now, uh, old determine amplitude. The person, how much I'll move my arm up and down from one from mean position that will determine the amplitude. So we know S H M. No, so let me take a point. And this is x equal to zero. This point, okay, this one. Uh, now, at time t is what I, I'll notice the point P is having a displacement y at a distance x. And then, what is the equation for y? You write. We'll, we'll write like this. No, y equal to a sine omega t. The same point P. See now, now I I think you you have enough. At t equal zero, what is the state of point P? It was at rest, no. And the person holding this end of the rope, he will start moving it up and down. Then the disturbance what point? Shall I say it will take some time to reach here? It will take some time. Means in in fact it will propagate, no. So sir. Uh, what do you mean by this? What is what is V here? Can you tell what is V? 
the speed with which the disturbance propagates sir what is a disturbance see uh, i think um, uh, by this time everyone knows disturbance if i don't move my arm all the points on the rope they will lie on a horizontal line what shall i say that happily staying at rest or or there 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 what when there, there there no disturbance that's why all points are lying on a horizontal line if i move my arm up and down so nothing but now i am disturbing these particles of a rope no so the word disturbance usually we use to express the negative feeling but here the disturbance is what something very important for us if i move my arm up and down so what shall i say i am disturbing the particles on a rope no so shall i use word disturbance and you see that at one instant so if i move my arm first what happened who will get disturbed this end of the rope or these points or these points so i'll i'll give the number point 1 For our convenient purpose, we'll just pick up. Tell me, like, who will first get disturbed? The one, no. Then afterwards, two. Afterwards, three. So, what do you mean by disturbance? They start moving up and down. I think you might have seen many things, no. If a person standing here like this, if I push first person, so what happens? That person will push. So the disturbance is propagating. No? Or you might have seen some uh, match boxes or something playing cards. They will stack up. If you push it, then what happens? Slowly starts moving, no. Nothing but the disturbance is propagating here. Got the idea now? How the points? The points will vibrate here. So shall I say what is V now? The speed with which disturbance propagates. I'll, I'll because this is something very important. So what is V? Speed with which speed with which a disturbance propagates on a rope okay the word disturbance is nothing but nothing but wave propagation see instead of saying speed with which a disturbance propagates on a rope shall i say that wave propagates it's over now the terminology in common language we say disturbance propagating technically we say wave propagating got the idea now okay the similar thing now now at t equals zero what is the state of the rope it is at rest all points on a rope are at rest Oh, I am. I am very specifically. I am picking up a point on a rope. What is the state of at rest? Now, I have created a disturbance here. Then, after what time? It will take some time for the disturbance to propagate, no, to reach at point P. Then, how much of time the disturbance took to propagate a distance six? Because the disturbance is propagating with a speed v. So, therefore, uh, what we can write here. This one, the time taken by the disturbance to propagate a distance x, how to calculate? So, what is v? V equal to x by t. You write it. It will take some time. So, you know kinematics. So, like that, the disturbance will take some time to propagate. No, okay. Let's get into this one. And uh, now, at t equals zero, where the disturbance it is here. When you see disturbance. after some time t if i say that at time t the disturbance is here means when it would have been generated before means at 9 o'clock if you see disturbance here or say like a 9 11 am if you see disturbance here when it should have been generated before before 9 11 or say at 9 o'clock so if you see disturbance at this point at time t when it would have been generated before before at 9:11 at 9:10 am if you see disturbance here when it should have been generated it's a 9:08 am so what is the time taken by disturbance two minutes it took to propagate so like this all happen i will bring that equation what why negative sign because at time t we see the disturbance here it would have been generated at T equal to zero. So what is the time taken by the? So what is this? This bracket term indicates time, no? Omega this time. So when it was generated, t minus x by v. Ah, uh, now we have to express all the things. So what what do you mean by x? What do you mean by y? Y displacement of a point on a rope. I mean, what is x? The position of a point on a rope from the origin. So I am defining myself. This is the origin. 
or reference point. So therefore, this we will write it as y of x t. This is a correct form. Y of x t means at a given instant of time, a particle at a given position, its particular what happened motion is defined by this particular equation. So in SHM, what happened? We were talking about displacement of one point. Here, what happened? We are talking about displacement of several points at a given time. This one. So this is called like a wave equation. Okay, what do you mean by amplitude? I'll, I'll, I'll come for this one. Okay, well, I highlight one by one term. So this is called as amplitude of a wave. Now, uh, what do you mean by this term? Vertical position of a particle at any time t. Vertical position of a particle as a function of position and time. Uh, using x, what you can do? Using x, you can pick up any point on a rope. And you know time, time is instantaneous. So the, what is t? Intention time. What is x? Uh, let me write x is position of a point on a rope. or specific point on a rope, a, a, x what it will tell? Position of a point on a rope. Okay, this one. Yeah, better. Position of a point on a rope from origin. Like this, the meaning of that x, a, v. And what is v? The speed of the wave. Ah, see. At nine o'clock, so let, let's let me go for very general. At at nine ten a.m., you see you are here. When you would have started your journey at nine o'clock, you see person is here at nine ten a.m. When you would have started his journey at nine a.m. No? If you say at nine ten a.m. is here, then when you would have been when would have started journey at 9 a.m. he has started journey the same thing here at time t if you see the disturbance here when it would have been generated prior to that then what is the time taken by the wave to propagate x by v because it will the wave will move with a speed v and to cover a distance x it will take some time no so i'll subtract that time so what is this equation uh, what is this equation first of all Wave propagation, that one means at any time t, okay, the wave propagation is given by this particular thing. So, sir, what is the meaning of this? What is this particular thing? The time at which the wave is generated, t minus x by v. At time t, you notice the wave. t minus x by v is what? The time at which wave is generated. So what is this quantity? The time at which wave is generated. And what is t? The time at which you notice the wave at point p. Or the time at which the disturbance is here <coughs> and when it was generated t minus x by v so at 9 10 m if you see that what does it mean at 9 o'clock it started so therefore now i want to express the motion means what when when he has started how he has started so therefore i need the time at which wave generated no so therefore t minus x by v is the time at which wave generated so what is the meaning of all this equation? So let, let, let me write it rather than just only speaking. So what do you mean by that? At time t, at 
at time t the disturbance is noticed at p and at time t minus x x by v the disturbance is generated. There is a meaning of this one. In what direction the wave is propagating towards right? So the equation is like this. Okay, now if the waves are like a, I'll generate a wave, means at this end, person is standing, is waving his hand up and down. At T minus X, Y, V, he will start waving his hand up and down. At time, T, what you notice that here. Now, similarly, if a wave propagates Now again, this is it. Now th this is the y-axis. Okay, fine. So at time t is what we notice here. And the wave is, the disturbance is propagating towards left. There's an origin, the origin is very important for us. No. If at time t, if the disturbance is here, after what time it will be at origin? What is the direction which the wave is propagating towards left? No. If at time t, if the disturbance is at point p, after what time the disturbance will be at origin? T plus X by V because the disturbance will take some time to propagate, no? So X distance it will cover. So what is it time taken by to move? A distance X will be X by V. So therefore now, what, what is the idea now here? If, if a disturbance is at point P at time T, then It takes T plus X by V then it takes so what is the time taken by it to reach origin X by V? So at point P, at time T, so at time T, if the distribution is at point P, then, then, then what will happen? At origin, what we write? So it will be Y equal to A sine omega. What is, oh, so, uh, no, no, so like a, why you are bringing this one? Okay, how the points are, open? they'll describe two info motion. Two info motion is what already we know it, no? And what is omega angular frequency? We know all that one. At time t, if I see the disturbance after, uh, then what is the equation for the disturbance when it is at origin? t plus x by v. At time t, I'll define the system to be like this. Then at origin, how much it should be? t plus x by v. So now in what direction the wave is propagating? Towards left. This is for wave equation. or wave propagating along negative x-axis. Okay, like this, what happened? We'll put it again. See, what is this? Is it a graph? No, it's not a graph. It's a rope, rope itself. Or medium. In books, they call medium. Different. So when you see any curve like this, when you see graph, first of all, ask if, is it a mathematical graph or is it a, the medium in the form of some rope? 
it's it's a rope itself so i'm i'm even if i write medium students will start do some imagination so therefore state i'm calling it a rope or or string that's all okay now we have to explore here like a, how the points on a rope will be moving when a disturbance is set up at one end okay I'll, i'll go back to the original this one here so what we do is like how to set up a wave on a rope there's a next question so what is the best thing is person should do so let let's come to the 